Greetings Earthlings, my name is Caitlin Page, and on today's video we're going to be searching for an edible mushroom that you can find even in the winter months. You might be thinking, Caitlin, there's no fleshy body fungi out here, it's 16 degrees in the middle of December. Well my friend, that is actually where we're wrong. We can find a lot of different edible mushrooms in the winter months, and today I'm just going to be going over one of those edible mushrooms. The edible mushroom we're going to be discussing in today's video looks strangely close to an oyster mushroom. However, it's not a true oyster mushroom. Come take a walk with me and let's discover what we can find in the middle of December. All right, guys, so I've located a specimen of the fungi that I would like to talk with you guys about today. This little frozen mushroom right here is known as Sarcomyxa serotina or the late fall oyster mushroom. Now the late fall oyster mushroom is a decomposer, which means it's a sap probe. It is likely breaking down the lignin in this wood that has been decaying here for quite some time. The late fall oyster has a unique coloration. It has a buff brown to greenish color on the cap with gills that run down the stem. The cap of this mushroom can be anywhere from two to five inches across. These specimens are a little bit darker on the cap than I would normally find. And this mushroom generally likes to grow in a shelf-like formation. There really isn't much of a stem on this fungi, but if you do take a look underneath, you're going to see that they look a lot like an oyster mushroom if you're familiar with the Pleurotus genus. However, these are not in the genus Pleurotus. These are in the genus Sarcomyxa. They actually used to be in the Pinellas genus, but that changed over time. Check areas where there may be fallen stumps or recently cut trees. These mushrooms really enjoy dead or decaying wood. And if you're still having trouble finding this mushroom, look at places where there are yellow birch trees. This species seems to prefer yellow birch. And there are many different species of birch tree, but yellow birch is pretty easy to identify. It's got this yellowish tint, and it has this bark that really easily peels off. So none of the lookalikes for this mushroom are considered deadly or even toxic for that matter. The lookalikes for this mushroom include Pleurotus ostreatus and Pleurotus pulmonarius. However, Pleurotus ostreatus is going to have a more buff to gray colored cap and a white underside with a white spore print. Compared to Sarcomyxa serotina, the late fall oyster, which has a yellowish underside and a yellow spore print. When you're first starting out with mushrooms, it's a really good idea to take a spore print of every single fungi that you find, especially if you're having trouble familiarizing yourself with a particular mushroom. A spore print can really help you define whether something is what you think it is. I find this mushroom to be a little bit bitter on the back end, but otherwise it's really good. You just need to stew it for a little bit longer and a little bit of butter, oil, and maybe even a little bit of water or stock if you'd like to soften them up before you consume them. I think that about covers everything in today's video. I really hope that I gave you guys a good overview of Sarcomyxa serotina. I encourage you to get outside and take a look around in your woods. Even though it's snowing, I'm still finding mushrooms. And if you really love fungi and nature in general, consider subscribing to the channel. I do a lot of informative videos about fungi and edible versions, poisonous versions, and I try to make them a little bit silly, at least in my shorts. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button and liking this video. It would really help push this to people who might be interested in this kind of information. Thank you guys, and I hope you have a great holiday season. Ciao!